Welcome back guys. Let's start refining this block out. So let's go to modify chamfer. I'm going to select this line, this edge here at the bottom. And we're going to just adjust this blue arrow to match the reference. Once satisfied, we can just press OK. And now we can select this surface and go to create sketch. And we can press the high key L or just go to this icon here and choose the line tool to basically start outlining this and matching it with the reference. And we're not adding too much detail guys, just uh, basic stuff here. Now let's go to fill it and let's just fill it this corner here. Now we can right click, hit OK. We can just press pull the profile in about halfway. That looks good. Ensure it's on cut and press OK. Now we're going to start chamfering the top edge. So we're going to go to modify chamfer. And let's just select this edge here and pull this arrow down. Now let's go back to the right view or the front view and let's just pull this down to about here. And let's press OK. And I'm going to right click and go up and press OK so we can repeat that last command. And we can start chamfering these lines over here. We'll just pull this down. That looks good. Somewhere around here. And let's finalize this by pressing OK. Now, what I like to do is start, uh, I want to hit F on the keyboard, which is the hot key for fill it. Or you can press modify fill it. And let's just select all three of these lines. This one and this one here. And we're just going to pull the arrow up to round this off. And that looks good. Somewhere around here. Now let's press OK to finalize that. Now we can pretty much go anywhere from here, but what I like to do is just add one more chamfer. So I'm just going to go to modify chamfer and I'm going to select this top edge here. Let's just drag this down. That looks good. Let's hit OK. Now we can select the surface and create a sketch. And now let's start uh, using the line tool to follow this, the path of the reference. Now finish sketch. Now we go to modify and let's just go to split body and we're going to split this body by the line we just created. So chop that off. Now we can press pull this and let's just offset this a little bit. And I want to show you guys this. See how I tried to press pull that and that affected it. A way to go around this is uh, copying this body and pasting it and basically right clicking on the original and going to remove. Do not press delete, just remove. Now we can press pull this without any uh, issues. So that's that's a good thing to know. Just keep that guys in your notes somewhere. Now we can select this surface and go to create sketch. And let's start uh, using our line tool to further match this reference. Mm -hmm. And this is just muscle memory guys. You're going to get so used to this. And I'm pretty sure you guys know how to do this already. So now we can split this body or we can just go to create pipe. It's, it's a lot of options to do the same thing. So we're just going to try the pipe method this time and we'll switch it up for the next one. So somewhere around here looks fine. Make sure it's on cut and press OK. Now let's select this surface and go to create sketch. And let's go to create slot, center to center slot. And from this center point here, all the way down to the other end. We're going to click a second time. And the third time, we're just going to move. Uh, after we click here for the second time, we're going to move down or up just to create that, that slot shape. And let's just double click this line to uh, select the entire. And we're going to Control C, Control V to paste this right here above to match that reference. Now we can uh, shift select both of these profiles and right click, press pull. And let's just press pull these inwards. So we can get a nice little cutout shape here. Ensure it's on cut, press OK. Now we can hit F to go into fillet mode. And let's just select these inner rings so we can round those off. And once we're satisfied, we'll just hit OK as long as we make sure it matches with the reference. And that looks pretty good. So let's just finalize that. We're going to select the surface once again, create a sketch. And this is rinse and repeat. We're just looking for a uh, similar shape. So we're going to start uh, using our slot once again. So from this point to here, and we're going to drag up or down, whatever you choose, create that shape. And then we're going to double click to control C, control V to duplicate that. And we're just going to match this with the copy below on the reference. 
Select both the profiles, right click, press pull, and we're just gonna pull these in. Rinse and repeat, guys. Ensure it's on cut, hit OK once you're satisfied, and we're gonna hit F to go into fillet mode, and we're gonna select our inner edges here, and let's round these off. That looks good somewhere around here. We are making great progress so far. Now, what I'd like to do is add a bit more detail on this main body. So let's select this surface and uh, begin to create a sketch. And we'll just press L on the keyboard or just choose the line icon above. And we'll start outlining some of these details. That looks good right about here. Now we can right click, hit OK. And let's just uh, adjust this line and press pull of this. And we're just going to bring it in and make a slight cut inside. Now go back to front view and we can start adding some more details. So let's select the surface once again and go to create sketch. And we're going to grab that line tool once again and we're going to just outline this little detail here. And after we connect this last line, we could uh, just add a fillet now, but I'll do it later on after we actually create the body. So now we can just press pull this surface in or this uh, profile inwards. And we'll make a deeper cut than the last one. So we add some variation here. Now we can hit after going to fill it mode and we'll just grab uh, these edges here. And we'll just round these off. This is with this reference, just make it a little bit smoother, something around here. That's great. Let's hit uh, OK. And now we could also hit fill it one more time and we'll just grab this line here, this edge. And we'll just round off this entire edge as one. That oh, was great. Now we can uh, add some more detail here. But I think it's a good time to start working on this area. So let's just select the surface and create a sketch. And we can use a two point rectangle or a line, whatever uh, you feel more comfortable using. And it's also good just to switch them up and just uh, get comfortable using different tools. But if uh, you found a, something that works good for you, just keep it that way. I'm just going to outline this. Reference this line up here. And now connect these two. And it's a good time to use the fillet tool after adjusting this line. And we'll just round off these two edges. Here and here. Right click, hit OK. And we can right click and go up to uh, select the function we just chose. We'll round off those two bottom edges as well. And let's also round this off here and here. Right click, hit OK. Now we can just select this profile and right click, press pull. And we'll press pull this in slightly. So something around here. And ensure it's on cut, hit OK. And let's just press pull this back a little bit. I think I made it a bit too far inward. So we'll just dial back a bit. And once we're satisfied, let's just hit OK to finalize that and let's go back to the front view and I want to reselect this little section we just created select the surface and create a sketch and like we were doing previously we'll just use the line tool to basically outline this reference area and instead of uh, actually yeah so let's connect this and we'll just use fill it and we'll just fill it these two edges here and let's use the three point arc for this area here, although I could have just dragged this out and then just fill it, but I want to show you guys another way of doing the same thing so you guys just are aware of it. And let's uh, go back to fill it and let's just fill it this corner here and let's repeat that fill it so we can uh, round these off as well. Now let's trim this reference line here and we can just press pull this surface, this profile. We'll pull this inwards to make an even deeper cut. That looks good somewhere around here. That's it, okay. Ensure the operation is set to cut, guys, not new body or join. That looks pretty good. Now, let's uh, start getting some of this detail here. So, we'll just select the surface and create sketch. And let's start outlining some of these uh, cuts you see here for this design. We're just following this around. And this, as you guys can see, this is really simple. It's like, uh, you know, there's nothing advanced just yet. Now we're going to create pipe. We're going to create a pipe out of this. So let's just go around and let's just make this a bit smaller. So the cut actually makes sense. 
And actually what I'll do at this point is I want to pull this further so it doesn't have a random just cut going there. So I'll change it to new body, hit OK. And I'll go to the edge of this and press pull this so it's actually above this area. And I'm going to split this off here in a sec. So once I'm satisfied with this, I'm going to uh, just drag this up a bit higher just so there's no confusion. Then I'll go to modify split body. So right here, split body. Select that pipe we just created. And then for the splitting tool, we'll select this surface here, just so it's nice and linear. And we'll just go and remove this over in the bodies layer. Now we can go to uh, modify combine or just select combine and just combine the main body with the pipe and change the operation from join to cut. And we can remove that. 